A pole weapon or pole arm is a close combat weapon in which the main fighting part of the weapon is fitted to the end of a long shaft, typically of wood, thereby extending the user's effective range. Spears, glaives, poleaxes, halberds, and naginata are all varieties of pole arms. The purpose of using pole weapons is either to extend reach or to increase leverage, thanks to hands moving freely on a pole, and thus increase striking power. Because they contain relatively little metal, pole arms are cheap to make. This has made them the favored weapon of peasant levies and peasants in rebellion the world over. Many are adapted from farm implements, or other tools. Pole arms were common weapons on medieval European battlefields. Their range and impact force made them effective weapons against armored warriors on horseback, because they could penetrate armor. The Renaissance saw a plethora of different varieties. Pole arms in modern times are largely constrained to ceremonial military units such as the Papal Swiss Guard or Yeoman of the Guard, or traditional martial arts. Chinese martial arts in particular have preserved a wide variety of weapons and techniques. Classification Difficulties The classification of pole weapons can be difficult, and European weapon classifications in particular can be confusing. This can be due to a number of factors, including uncertainty in original descriptions, changes in weapons or nomenclature through time, mistranslation of terms, and the well-meaning inventiveness of later experts. As well, all pole arms developed from as few as three early tools, axe, scythe slash wide bladed knife, and the reaping hook, and one weapon, the spear. For example, the word halberd is also used to translate the Chinese G and also a range of medieval Scandinavian weapons as described in sagas, such as the eight gear. In the words of the arms expert Ewart Oakshot. Staff weapons in medieval or Renaissance England were lumped together under the generic term staves but when dealing with them in detail we are faced with terminological difficulty. There never seems to have been a clear definition of what was what, there were apparently far fewer staff weapons in use than there were names to call them by, and contemporary writers up to the 17th century used these names with abandon, calling different weapons by the same name and similar weapons by different names. To add to this, we have various 19th century terminologies used by scholars. We must remember too that any particular weapon, had everywhere a different name. While men at arms may have been armed with custom designed military weapons, militias were often armed with whatever was available. These may or may not have been mounted on poles and described by one of more names. The problems with precise definitions can be inferred by a contemporary description of Royalist infantry which were engaged in the Battle of Birmingham, 1643, during the first year of English Civil War, in the early modern period. The infantry regiment that accompanied Prince Rupert's cavalry were armed with pikes, half-pikes, halberds, hedgebills, Welsh hooks, clubs, pitchforks, with chopping knives, and pieces of scythes. List of pole weapons. Ancient pole weapons. European. Falks. Romphia. Contus. Weapon. Asian. G. Chinese. The Chinese halberd was used as a military weapon in one form or another from at least as early as the Shang dynasty until the end of the Qing dynasty. The G resembles a Chinese spear with a crescent blade attached to the head a sort of an axe blade. Sometimes double-bladed with two crescent blades on opposing sides of the spearhead. Refer to the rightmost weapons in the two Chinese pole arm pictures, it was created by combining the dagger axe with a spear. Dagger axe. The dagger axe, or G, Chinese, Pinyin, G, Wade Giles, Ko, sometimes confusingly translated halberd, is a type of weapon that was in use from Shang Dynasty until at least Han Dynasty China. It consists of a dagger-shaped blade made of bronze, or later iron, mounted by the tang to a perpendicular wooden shaft, a common Bronze Age infantry weapon, also used by charioteers. Some dagger axes include a spear point. There is a, rare, variant type with a divided two-part head, consisting of the usual straight blade and a scythe-like blade. Other rarities include archaeology findings with two or sometimes three blades stacked in line on top of a pole, but were generally thought as ceremonial pole arms. 
Though the weapon saw frequent use in ancient China, the use of the dagger axe decreased dramatically after the Qin and Han dynasties. The Ji combines the dagger axe with a spear. By the medieval Chinese dynasties, with the decline of chariot warfare, the use of the dagger axe was almost non-existent. Guandao A Guandao or Quan Tiyou is a type of Chinese pole weapon. In Chinese it is properly called a Yunyudao, which translates as reclining moon blade. Some believed it comes from the late Han era and supposedly used by the late Eastern Han dynasty general Guan Yu, but archaeological findings so far showed that Han dynasty armies were generally using straight single-edged blades, as curved blades came several centuries later. There is no reason to believe their pole arms had curved blades on them. Besides, historical accounts of the Three Kingdoms era had several specific records of Guan Yu thrusting his opponents down, probably with a spear-like pole arm, in battles, instead of cutting them down with a curved blade. Alternatively the Guandao is also known as Chun Chu De Dao, Spring Autumn Great Knife, again probably related to Guan Yu's loyal image depicted in the Ming Dynasty novel Romance of the Three Kingdoms, but possibly a Ming author's invention. It consists of a heavy blade mounted atop a 5 to 6 foot long, 1.5 to 1.8 m, wooden or metal pole with a pointed metal counterweight used for striking and stabbing on the opposite end. The blade is very deep and curved on its face, this resembles a Chinese saber or dao. Used by cavalry. Supposed to take great physical prowess to wield in combat due to great weight. Variants include having rings along the length of the straight back edge as found in the Nine Ring Guandao for use as distractions or entanglements for incoming enemy weapons having the tip curl into a rounded spiral as in the elephant guandao, or featuring a more ornate design as exemplified by the dragon head guandao. Padao Chinese pole arm, a long-handled saber, also known as the Jean Ma Dao, horse cutter saber, which has a lighter blade and a ring at the end in that it. A Pu Dao is an infantryman's weapon mainly used for cutting the legs off oncoming charging horses to bring down the riders. Ngao the Ngao or now, comma, is a Thai pole arm that was traditionally used by elephant riding infantry and is still used by practitioners of Krabi Krabong. Known in Malay as a dap, it consists of a wooden shaft with a curved blade fashioned onto the end, and is similar in design to the Korean Woldo. Usually, it also had a hook, between the blade and shaft used for commanding the elephant. The elephant warrior used the NGAO like a blade from atop an elephant or horse during battle. Post-classical pole weapons European Danish Axe The Danish Axe, also broad axe, Dane Axe, is a weapon with a heavy crescent-shaped head mounted on a haft 4 to 6 feet, 1.2 to 1.8 m, dot, in length. Originally a Viking weapon, it was adopted by the Anglo-Saxons and Normans in the 11th century, spreading through Europe in the 12th and 13th centuries. Variants of this basic weapon continued in use in Scotland and Ireland into the 16th century. A form of long axe. Sparth axe. In the 13th century, variants on the Danish axe are seen. Described in English as a sparth, from the Old Norse spar, or pale axe, the weapon featured a larger head with broader blade, the rearward part of the crescent sweeping up to contact, or even be attached to, the haft. In Ireland, this axe was known as a spar axe. Originating in either western Scotland or Ireland, the spar was widely used by the gallow glass. Although sometimes said to derive from the Irish for a joist or beam, a more likely definition is as a variant of sparth. Although attempts have been made to suggest that the spar had a distinctive shaped head, illustrations and surviving weapons show there was considerable variation and the distinctive feature of the weapon was its long haft. Foshar A foshar is a type of pole arm which was used in medieval Europe from the 11th through the 14th centuries. The design consisted of a curved blade put atop a 6 to 7 foot long, 1.8 to 2.1 m, pole. The blade bore a moderate to strong curve along its length, however, unlike a bill or gui's arm, the cutting edge was on the convex side. Gui's arm A gui's arm, sometimes gui's arm, gisern, or bisarm, was a pole weapon used in Europe primarily between 1400. 
it was used primarily to dismount knights and horsemen. Like most pole arms it was developed by peasants by combining hand tools with long poles, in this case by putting a pruning hook onto a spear shaft. While hooks are fine for dismounting horsemen from mounts, they lack the stopping power of a spear especially when dealing with static opponents. While early designs were simply a hook on the end of a long pole, later designs implemented a small reverse spike on the back of the blade. Eventually weapon makers incorporated the usefulness of the hook in a variety of different pole arms and Gui's arm became a catch-all for any weapon that included a hook on the blade. Ewart Oakshot has proposed an alternative description of the weapon as a crescent-shaped socketed axe. Glaive A glaive is a pole arm consisting of a single-edged tapering blade similar in shape to a modern kitchen knife on the end of a pole. The blade was around 18 inches, 46 centimeters, long, on the end of a pole 6 or 7 feet, 180 or 210 centimeters, long however, instead of having a tang like a sword or naginata, the blade is affixed in a socket shaft configuration similar to an axe head, both the blade and shaft varying in length. Illustrations in the 13th century Masijoski Bible show a short-staffed weapon with a long blade used by both infantry and cavalry. Occasionally glaive blades were created with a small hook or spike on the reverse side. Such glaives are named glaive guy's arm. Volge A volge, occasionally called a pole cleaver, is a curved blade attached to a pole by binding the lower two-thirds of the blade to the side of the pole, to form a sort of axe. Looks very similar to a glaive. Svartstaf A svartstaf, literally sword staff, is a Swedish medieval pole arm that consists of a two-edged sword blade attached to a two-meter staff. The illustrations often show the weapon being equipped with sword-like quillens. The illustrations sometimes show a socket mount and reinforcing langets being used, but sometimes they are missing, it is possible this weapon was sometimes manufactured by simply attaching an old sword blade onto a long pole on its tang, not unlike the naginata. Asian Naginata a naginata, or, is a Japanese pole arm that was traditionally used by members of the samurai class. A naginata consists of a wood shaft with a curved blade on the end, it is descended from the Chinese guandao. Usually it also had a sword-like guard, tsuba, between the blade and shaft. It was mounted with a tang and held in place with a pin or pins, rather than going over the shaft using a socket. Woldo the Korean Woldo was a variation of the Chinese Guandao. It was originally used by the medieval Shilla warriors. Wielding the Woldo took time due to its weight, but in the hands of a trained soldier, the Woldo was a fearsome, agile weapon famous for enabling a single soldier to cut down ranks of infantrymen. The Woldo was continually in use for the military in Korea with various modifications made over the decades. Unlike the Chinese with the Guandao, the Koreans found the Woldo unwieldy on horseback, and thus, it was specifically tailored to the needs of infantrymen. The Joseon government implemented rigorous training regimens requiring soldiers to be proficient with swordsmanship, and the use of the Woldo. Though it was never widely used as a standard weapon, the Woldo saw action on many fronts and was considered by many Korean troops to be a versatile weapon. Recently, a contemporary revival in various martial arts in Korea has brought interest into the application of the Woldo and its history. Modern Pole Weapons European Corsic A Corsic has a three-bladed head on a 6-8 feet, 1.82.4 m, dot, haft which, like the partisan, is similar to the winged spear or spadum in the later Middle Ages. It was popular in Europe in the 16th and 17th centuries. Surviving examples have a variety of head forms but there are two main variants, one with the side blades, known as flukes or wings, branching from the neck of the central blade at 45 degrees, the other with hooked blades curving back towards the haft. The Corsic is usually associated with the Rakan, Ronsur, and Runka. Another possible association is with the three-grain staff listed as being in the armory of Henry VIII in 1547 though the same list also features 84 rockins, suggesting the weapons were not identical in 16th century English eyes. Another modern term used for particularly ornate bladed corsiques is the chauffeurus. Halberd A halberd, 
or Swiss Volch, is a two-handed pole weapon that came to prominent use during the 14th and 15th centuries but has continued in use as a ceremonial weapon to the present day. First recorded as Helmbart in 1279, the word halberd possibly comes from the German words Helm, staff, or Helm, helmet, and Bart, axe. The halberd consists of an axe blade topped with a spike mounted on a long shaft. It always has a hook or thorn on the back side of the axe blade for grappling mounted combatants. Early forms are very similar in many ways to certain forms of Volch, while 16th century and later forms are similar to the Pollax. The Swiss were famous users of the halberd in the medieval and renaissance eras, with various cantons evolving regional variations of the basic form. Pollax in the 14th century, the basic long axe gained an armor-piercing spike on the back and another on the end of the haft for thrusting. This is similar to the poleaxe of 15th century. The poleaxe emerged in response to the need for a weapon that could penetrate plate armor and featured various combinations of an axe blade, a back spike, and a hammer. It was the favored weapon for men-at-arms fighting on foot into the 16th century. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.